Yeah. Look, look, I'm just... My biggest thing is... Someone like Amar, right? At least talking, ha- having the balls to like talk to community people. Like, how many? Let's. There's a lot of developers in that fucking company. You don't see many of them doing what he does, and you know, t- having those sorts of conversations and debates and whatnot. But at the same time, tired, and it had happened for years. Origins kind of rejuvenated it, but it's already kind of kicked me in the nuts. Mm-hmm. Origins looks like it's just gonna be an anomaly. And the standard is going to be, you know, sort of average. Oh, it better not. It better yeah, not because there hasn't been a follow-up to Origin. It's not fully fair to say of me. I'm just more the attitude that Ubisoft and other, you know, people that whether they say something or they're not developers and aren't saying anything from decisions they've been making, it's just they don't – if they hear something they don't like, they don't want to hear it, mm-hmm. and they only want to hear positive – Cool. Yes, men. Sorry, within the video game industry. Yes, person fans <laughs> who are yes, just ass kisses. Ass kisses. It's not. It hasn't got them anywhere. The only time they've ever listened was after Syndicate sold so bad because we've been screaming at them for what they've been doing wrong. Then they finally financially the the from you know in inside stories we heard they got a, the whole team got a fucking sit down from Eve and got a good talking to about what they've got to do next and that's why origins happened they've done what they've done and now they think because they've hit a home run they can not listen they can do whatever the fuck they want still they need to keep listening to people that actually want to critique them because there's some great people they have involved someone like a to rule who is a critical guy Mm. who actually has great ideas someone like luma who is a critical guy that has great ideas but i don't see them respond to those guys when they're being critical i only see them respond to them and talk to them if they've got something nice to say and if they respond to us when we're being critical critical it's a sort of half-assed remark or it's just a shutdown of opinion like it doesn't matter or like we're morons or something i've been a fan of this franchise for over 10 years i've been doing youtube for six years i know what the fuck i'm talking about i've only talked to thousands and thousands of fans i know what the fans want and they can think that we don't know what we're talking about when we're like because that's the only thing that annoyed me from the conversation with Amar was him saying, How do you know that's what the fans want? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Like, yeah, you don't think bullshit. we don't know what the fans want? <laughs> that's our job. We're the I... actual community developers that you've got. We're yeah. the people that actually talks to the community. We're the people that makes content for the community. We're the people that brings the community together. And you can think just because you don't like what we have to say, just because you don't like maybe our personalities, what we believe in, the types of people we are, who we associate ourselves with. I don't really give a fuck <clears throat> about you personally, and you shouldn't give a fuck about us personally we have something to say about your franchise because we love it not because we're just assholes we've got yeah, something to I, say because we actually have some value that's why james mm. has almost seventy thousand people subscribed to him and millions of views that's why ethan has fifty thousand subscribers and millions of views that's why george has his 20 30 how i forget how many george 35, has <laughs> Thirty-five thousand subscribers we fucking know what we're talking about when we sit here together and have these discussions that's what pisses me off the most is the yeah, lack that... of value they give what because i don't even just speak for myself i know i'm heard but i'm talking about the mm. people that talk to us the people we listen to they listen to us like we don't speak for people what are you talking about yeah was... we speak for far more people than the ass kisses that you have talking to you and you listen to <laughs> yeah i find it funny how i find it really funny how he said and what's your source for all this information and you can just see our our channel names are actually a part of our twitter handles like james has got lasers hd i have fishy as my uh sub name (laughs) and it's like (laughs) it's like mate yeah what, what the fuck (laughs) it's actually (laughs) fucking ridiculous like i mean tarul said um to also with the, with the uh the mentors guild that they put together um which was i mean I, I still don't know what they did that for it's more of a marketing tactic than anything else um but th- like the, the the mentors are meant to get together and give them feedback and people said like um because Tyrrell would post something about, you know, uh, their overarching narrative, the way they're handling characters and stuff, like, whatever. And someone would reply, like, oh, maybe this is something to bring up in the next Mentors Guild meeting. And he said, we did in Montreal. Like, we tried to make it very fucking clear, but they didn't want to have it. Like, they were just sort of explaining why no, rather than listening and going, yeah, that makes sense. Just being like, no. 
Like, what, what, what's the point in that then? We don't criticize to get why you're not doing it. We criticize because that's what you should do. Exactly. We'd be the we best fucking head of content team pieces. if us four ran the fucking franchise. We'd kill it. <laughs> we'd re- we, idea, we would release banger after banger. We'd make them so <laughs> much money. A lot of, we'd have a lot of PR issues. We'd, we'd have a lot of PR issues. issues. Yeah, we'd have some we'd like Oh, we'd make some us. sick games, though. Oh, yeah, we'd have well, a good run. Look, the reality is, and you're saying the right things, but the cr- the crazy thing is from hearing what Tarul said is they've got this mentors guild together, and I do think, and like when it comes to the mentors guild, I have no problem with them. I actually think they've got some great people in there that have something to say. Tarul especially, I think he's a really smart dude. But... They're not even listening to them, and that's the point of the fucking yeah, mentors. Yeah, it's so dumb. They're using them for cheap Fuck. marketing. That's all it is. They thought the Mentors Guild were going to just, like, roll over and do whatever they want, and now the Mentors Guild are having their own opinions, and they're like, nah, nah, fuck off. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck, fuck it off with initiates and, 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 and all that other stuff we made. I know. It's weird. Oh, God. They want to hear. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm lost for fucking words. What do they want to hear from us? What do they want to hear? What do they want to hear from the mental skills that they put together? Evidence, they put like... together. What do they want to hear from us? They don't want real ideas or input. They, they want, don't. Yeah, they it. don't want that. They want you to like what they give you, and that's it. They want, they want <laughs> you to tell your friends to buy it, and that's it. I feel as if um, the best way for Ubisoft and for everybody to tell how it's going wrong is the fact that they have to explain off why what they're doing is good. If yeah, it was exactly. truly good, they wouldn't have to do that. So, there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's exactly it, right. That's exactly right. If <laughs> if what they were doing was actually good, they wouldn't need to keep saying, oh, here's oh, why you're really wrong. Good, here's why we're right. It's like, well, that should be fucking obvious, this, shouldn't it? This yeah. stubbornness has always existed in this company. Let's look back to the community before it was us, and it was people like Escoblades and Luma and Squidish and these people in the multiplayer community. Every other week, these guys were posting rant videos about why the multiplayer stuff shit, why it wasn't normally single player because that was the peak <laughs> of the single player or, or, or narrative. But they've always decided what they want to do and stuck with it and not really listened to what these people are having to say. Mm. Now it's us who have not including me but you guys have so many more viewers than them mm-hmm. the community the hardcore fans are here and they act like we have nothing to say they act like uh, they at least respond to us even though they don't actually listen to what we're saying if they listen I to a third of what we said a million, i see so many hundreds a week at least hundreds a week of following me or you know or a part of the assassin Creed community asking questions asking for support asking for ideas saying things they never get responded to mm. the only reason they even respond to us is because we at least have the following but then they dismiss us like we don't have anything oh, to, yeah. to say or we don't speak for anybody like when when i have discussions with other community members i'm not gonna name names because i don't care to name names who it's say not- oh it's just just my opinion I'm just like, trust me, I tell you, it's not just my opinion. And I know you can think maybe that in some way, that just because it's you and I having conversation, that yours is somehow superior to mine. I don't know. I'm not going to act like mine's more superior, but I do know that I speak for people, mm. not just for myself. I change my mind all the time about this franchise because of what people are telling me. When I post a video and people tell me that I'm wrong for some reason, I've been won over on ideas. Talking to you guys about stuff makes me change my mind about how I feel about things in the franchise and how I like characters or how I like games or how I like stories being told or whatever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I you know, it's, I'm not I'm not some closed-minded dude and, and we've all proven that. Exactly. What we have to do, I don't know what someone like the Mentors Guild has to do. I don't know what this community overall in all corners have to do to get an opinion heard that's actually taken on board. I think the only to... reason they're putting these awesome games together like Origins is because they have fucking diamonds in the rough like Ashraf Ishmael who doesn't get if he's getting paid millions of dollars it's not fucking enough from that company and <laughs> so is most of those like the, oh my god yeah, it's Ashraf ridiculous Ishmael they're lucky to have mm. yeah that black flag team is clearly the, the best team in yeah. in the whole in Revelations Ubisoft, black flag and and origins i do think we need to um give credit where it's due to say the mentors guild though they are on the community side evidently because they're trying to bring up to ubisoft if ubisoft Mm -hmm. doesn't want to hear them that's sort of 
that's not it's not anything that the mental skill can do to change that. Ubisoft are shooting themselves in the foot there though. They've yeah, created well, I mean, thing. they obviously are. They've created this thing that they thought would just be propaganda for themselves, and now it's finally giving its own opinions. They're like, no, I don't want to mm. hear it. Just like everything else they've created before, and like everything else they've shut down because it's not like confirming what they want to hear. Yeah, it's such uh, a strange thing. I wonder what it would be like thing, to be like... a play tester for these games and to be like, I think you should do this. They're like, look, this is why we're not doing this. They don't actually respond yeah. to be like, oh, yeah. I wonder if we did that. They're the like, no, I this attention. is why we're not doing this. Yeah. The more I pay attention, the more it seems Ubisoft is run by fascists. So <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's not like this fascist uh... state. You're allowed to have let people have their opinions and you're allowed to listen.